So this fellow says to me, you're one of them pandeists. Doesn't pandeism mean that you worship trees and brooks and rocks and trees and things like that? I could see that this fellow was none too educated. He did not understand the theological underpinnings of my belief system. So I explained to him, no sir, pandeism is the belief that the creator of the universe, in the creation itself, became the universe and ceased to be a separate entity. All things in the universe are part of the Creator. And yes, that does include trees and brooks and rocks. But it also includes all the people and all the planets and all the stars and all the interstellar dust between the galaxies. Everything. All are part of the Creator. Now, we don't worship books and trees and rocks. Pandeists do not worship anything. It would not make any sense to worship the universe itself, which is an unconscious entity of which we are part. We hold the universe in reverence and awe because it is an awesome creation. The universe does not demand worship. We might as well worship ourselves. Also something that pandeists do not do. So this fellow says, well, let me get this straight now. You don't have any sacred ground. You don't have any sacred objects or people. So if you think everything is sacred, isn't that just another way of saying that nothing is sacred? And I looked at this mother and I said, well, isn't that kind of like saying, if you say every child is precious, that's like saying no child is precious. So I reckon I made my point.